What's up my lunatics? Welcome back to my channel, but if it's your first time, my name is Anastasia Luna and welcome to YouTube. Alright guys, today we are going to be checking out Burning Witches and the song is The Witch of the North and it's going to be an official music video. So, quite a few of you suggested this band to me. I know it's all female metal band, so I'm super excited to check them out. Anything about women and metal excites me so i'm super excited but first if you like the video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out and if you like the channel itself please subscribe also guys as you know i'm a rock singer as well And all the links to my music are going to be included in the description of this video, so please check it out, let me know what you think. Let's go! Burning Witches, The Witch of the North. Very metal -y, very, you know, the snow. Ah, oh, that's cool. Badass bitches. Alright, let me stop right here. I'm not sure if I, I guess we're starting a course. So a lot of things going on. So I'm going to stop and talk about something and then we're going to uh, move on. Alright, so I love everything about theatrics. I love every, every, every bleh, can't talk. I love everything about theatrics, everything about costumes, everything about, um, you know, the effort that, that is put behind music videos. Uh, it's just it just gives so much oomph to the song, to the video, so I love that, I love the creepiness of it, I love the the death in a hood, like the skull, whatever it's, you know, whatever it stands for. Um, she has a very, very interesting voice, very, very powerful mezzo, I was actually surprised she started growling, I wasn't expecting that because... Actually, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I just, I thought when I, when I saw everything kind of like in a Viking-ish kind of style, I thought it would be more of a symphonic metal kind of thing, which it's not, but she has an amazing voice and she switches between her clean vocals, then she puts a little bit of a fry on it to give this bite to it, and then she goes into growls and then she goes back. Really cool. I cannot do that. I just have a clean voice and that's what it is. I love that um, they're wearing outfits that kind of match each other, but not in a like a matchy-matchy kind of way. You know, like each and every one of them has her own style. Really cool. Um, where are they from? I need to research a little bit more about them because we need more women like this in the metal world and in the music world in general. Really cool. Um, all right, let's go further. I, I guess it's the course we're starting
stop right here really quick. Um, I was going to say something. I do love the storyline. I just don't understand really what what the storyline is about. It's just a lot of really, really cool shots, but I wonder if they're trying to tell the story with it. I'm just not sure. Um, I love that all of them have long hair so they can actually headbang. Her vo- you know what? She, in a weird way, uh, reminds me of um, Britney from Unleash the Archers. She kind of, when Britney goes high, she kind of has the same quality in her voice, even though Britney doesn't growl and she doesn't really put fry on her vocals. Uh, but I feel like when this girl went high up, she kind of reminded me of Britney and Britney is an amazing vocalist. So that's really cool. All right, let's go further. Um, also, because the camera switches so much, I can't really see the faces of uh, the band members. I just see the face of uh, the lead singer. So all these girls uh, that are in the video that do not play guitar, are they actors or are, are they members of the band? You know what I'm saying? Because they, I feel like they're using actors here. Or maybe they, I don't know. Let's... Like, yeah. Let's go. Hold on. This one, like, is she an actress Let's or is she go. part of the band? Let a gift of side flow through the wonder and dreams passing through. Oh, please, for the sake of prosperity, wise highways of the world. Rise, rise, such a true Let me stop. I, I guess we're going into guitar solo, and you guys know what guitar solos do to me, so I'm gonna restart the guitar solo. Um, I wonder if any uh, other members of the band sing uh, when they perform live. Is it live harmonies? Because it looks like on the chorus uh, she growls, the lead singer growls, but then at the same time she sings. So I wonder. Um, obviously, it's pre-recorded, um, but when they perform live, does she growl? Does she sing or? She growls and another member of the band sings. And I just love when um, uh, bands use live harmonies as opposed to pre-recorded, which is totally fine. You know, not everybody has to be able to sing, but it's really cool uh, if one of them actually does harmonies live. Really cool. All right, let's go into the guitar solo because guitar solos just do something to me. I cannot even explain that. <laughs> Baby, those fingers.
Uh, let me stop right here for a second. I'm gonna play it again. There was just so many, so much going on within the vocals. I feel like there were two growls um, on different pitches, and I know the growls uh, do have a pitch behind it sometimes. Even though, from what I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, it's hard to produce an actual pitch. It's hard to growl on on pitch. It's like its own different technique, and I feel like I heard growls in a harmony, which I don't think I've ever heard before. I've heard people um, using harmonies and then harmony, one harmony on the pitch or like somewhat of a pitch and then clean vocals on top of it on a different pitch. And then that's the harmony. But I don't think I've ever heard the harmony and growls at the same time. Really cool. And then she went into almost like, um, it wasn't even head voice. It was very, very operatic head voice like very, very opera. So I don't know if it's her. I don't know if it's a different member of the band. I really need to research more about them and who actually um, does vocals. Uh, I mean, obviously they have a lead singer, but it, it, are there are any other members of the band that do the vocals, but it's really cool. She switched between very, very um, powerful, metal, uh, clean vocals then she put a fry on them and went super high i don't know where she went maybe like f5 sharp something like that um then she growled and then she went into a very operatic tone it's literally like we listen to like four singers really really cool i need to research more about them and i need to do a reaction video um what check check them out singing live because vocally there's just so much going on and I want to see who sings what and how they do that live. All right, let's go into the last part. Alright, they put so much into this music video. It's so cool. They have a couple girls wearing different outfits. They have a witch, uh, the lead singer uh, with this book on fire. Then they have a fight going on. Then there's a death running around. <laughs> they just put a lot into this uh, music video. I wonder who actually produced and directed it. Um, they have a very... Um, like an old school metal sound, which is really, really cool. Bring old school metal back. All right, guys, I can't really say much about uh, this band anymore besides the fact that they're absolutely fantastic. I want to check them out live. And thank you for bringing them to my attention. I'm definitely going to be doing more reaction videos to them. And more women in metal. Yes, baby, more women in metal. All right, guys, my name is Anastasia Luna. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you like the channel itself, please subscribe. Also, guys, as you know, I'm a rock singer as well. And all the links to my music are going to be included in the description of this video. So please check it out. Let me know what you think. And like always, stay tuned for some more.